Governor John Bell Edwards met with President Trump at the White House today after a closed door meeting in the Oval Office. Sharice Gibson joins us live from her home this evening with what the two discussed. Sharice. And Karen, uh, Governor Edwards and President Trump were actually very complimentary towards each other. But during that briefing, we did learn that Louisiana will have more access to COVID-19 testing. And Dr. Fauci says there is a drug that is showing a lot of promise. We've obviously turned the corner in Louisiana. We're in a much, much better place than we thought was even possible five or six sure. weeks ago. I'll Governor John Bell Edwards was side by side with President Trump in the Oval Office as he touted the state's federally guided mitigation efforts and early access to COVID-19 testing as a reason Louisiana is starting to see a curve. You know, John Bell is testament to it. Testing is one of the great reasons that you've been successful in Louisiana. And more testing is on the way. During that same news briefing, Governor Edwards announced Louisiana expects to be able to test 200,000 residents per month. We are excited about the opportunity to have the test kits that we need allocated uh, starting in the month of May. But even with more tests available, the question still remains how the state plans to reopen safely. With positive cases of COVID-19 and deaths declining in some parts of the state, others are seeing an influx, leading Governor Edwards to extend his statewide stay-at-home order. As you heard from the governor, he didn't shut everything down. There was still... He has a curve like this. With While Governor Edwards extended his stay-at-home order with fewer restrictions, the federal social distancing guidelines are set to expire tomorrow. And President Trump doesn't plan to extend them, saying he wants to leave it to governors to decide what's appropriate. So I think what every governor is working on is how do I get the most people I can back to work and still maintain high level of safety. And that could be on the way. The country's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says there was evidence the experimental drug remdesivir is showing promise. Remdesivir has a clear-cut significant positive effect in diminishing the time to recovery. And while he stopped short of calling it a cure, it's a welcome sign to a country itching to get back on its feet. And Dr. Fauci said that preliminary data showed that remdesivir actually shortened the amount of time it took for some COVID-19 patients to recover from that virus. And for the amount of time it did shorten, they recovered about four days earlier. Karen. 